stuff like that. That Mustang Medic! We ship everything. Day one, day two. Sold Mustang Medic! Guys, here's the most videoed restoration ever. Ross's 1971 Mustang 429 Fastback. Uh, it's Wednesday. Surface I've got my hood on. It's cold. It's cold here in Palm Springs. Look what I got, guys. Got the passport, baby! I'll show you what's in it. She's going to show you. So, uh, it's uh, Wednesday morning, and we. this is another day in a life of a 71. Uh, show it up to them. Yeah, I have my papers. I got my papers. Anyway, um, we got, stop grabbing at me, girl. So we get the password, passport, password, blah, 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 blah. Passport. Need more coffee. Um, got the passport, and here comes the details on what's getting done. 71's going to come flying together shortly. We had a good conversation with Ross about the uh, plug situation. We might not be able to get it before the show or even before we leave, but we'll bring it up there and possibly do some uh, wiring work up there because he has a 71 with a tack dash that has the plug that we need to make the tack dash work in the 71. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. It did? Mm -hmm. So smart. All right, here goes. More details on the 71 project today. Wednesday, April 16th? 17th. 17th? Yeah. You're so smart. April 17th. <laughs> All right, so I'm sitting there talking to a person that's trying to give me like scriptures at the gas station I said no I'm good I'm good I just look, happen to look like the Grim Reaper today <laughs> don't I look come on you know what I mean all right dropping off some discs and then we're uh, already talked to Mike and we'll be in in a moment all right here we go I get in Mike is on the 71 again, Ross. This has to make you feel feel really good, warm and cozy. Makes me feel warm and cozy. So he's just been going crazy with the wiring, and uh, let's get an update from Mike on what's going on with the 71 today. <laughs> right now, we are immediately on video. We start the morning, and you are on video. Checking the fit of the temperature sending gauge, the sending unit that goes into the... Uh... Manifold. Right. And what were you updating me last night on, on where we're at with the car? What day is today? Today is Wednesday. It's Wednesday. We're going to see Sky today. Sky's coming today. Good. So, what? What's? Uh, remember last night you were saying how most of the dashboard is basically yeah. Most the, of the most of the uh, dash is done. Fixed a lot of the wiring. I'm I'm, I'm looking. <laughs> Fixed a lot of the wiring. Um, we're pretty much going to be sure. testing the, uh, the, the dash. Robert Solomon sent a really cool video of a place that has a um, replacement tack that pulls out the existing side of the uh, that dash there with the idiot lights, and then a tack fits right in, and then three wires coming out. So you use the same plug. You don't have to alter anything. Um, I'll show you the video that he sent. You mean the same plug? Were our plug issues over? If we buy this tack. What tack? You mean the whole tack? Yep. How much is the tack? It's like two hundred dollars. It would change up the tack ga gauge. Take that whole half side out. That all comes out. But the plug's still there, right? The tack is not the, the plug tack, side. The tack has its own separate wiring that goes. Right, but we can use the tack that we have in there right now, right? No, because the it's too big. The back part, we'd have to cut into the... I'll show you again when we get on the thing. And I'll show you the video that he sent so you can see what it entails. It looks fairly simple. Um, <laughs> All right, so we're, it seems like we're still diving into tack, man. I thought the tack, that tack was simple, but we're going to find out. But this is going to get a bath today. I've got, I'm taking the, um, the uh, power steering line. We've taken it off. As you can see, the, the, power, the pressure side is not there. So we are going to be taking that out to have that line tested because we got a leak. The good news is there is no issue with that um, steering box, the way it's threaded in. So we, got, we just have a hose issue, which you guys saw us custom make that thing. And the inside engine compartment is going to get a bath. And very soon, very, 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 very soon, the whole interior is just going to come together. We're going to drop carpeting in. I got the speakers. I got the, st the stereo yesterday. 
So we have, for the most part, all the pieces. I also spoke to Ross, and he's okay with us putting in the cluster and going there without that plug uh, making that work. Of course, we're going to try to work out all the issues before we drive. And he said, yes, he did say I can have a, I can have a little more time as long as we're keeping steady progress and getting her done. So it might delay the trip a little bit when we actually take off to Canada. But as you guys saw in the beginning of this video, I've got my passport. I got my passport, Mike. Cool. So check. Passport's handled. I got my papers. I got my papers. Illegal. <laughs> so uh, making good progress on the 71 today. This will be a multiple parter. This is part one. Good morning, guys, and happy Wednesday. Oh, and Andre's here too. There he is, off in the distance. Say hi, hi, Andre. Hello. Andre said hello. MustangMedic.com. We take the frustration out of restoration. So you say it only has surface rust? Really? Please look for the link in the description below for the next in our series. If it's not there, come back soon.